Today, we're gonna make the Titan from Farlander fight the mutants from Mutant Monsters. Now, the Titan got a revamp in 1.20.1, so I... It's actually the first time that I'm using it in battle. For now, the attack seems the same, which means run and hit. Still has the grab. That scream was loud. I just wonder if it has a regen once it's reached, like, half health. Is it a bit taller? I feel it's a bit taller than last time. But I'm pretty sure right now the mutant... Unless this has a regen, the mutant will destroy it. It's gonna die once. But it has like... But it has like three revives, so... Well, no, okay, it has a regen, which means the mutant will probably die. Sorry, mutant. And it doesn't receive fall damage, which means a lot of the damage from the mutant zombie is nullified. And it still does the regen again. Yep, sorry, mutant. It's over. And next we have our classic Mutant Enderman against the Ender Titan. Two Ender fighting each other. Now the Mutant Enderman is better at dealing with masses of mobs rather than 1v1, but sometimes it can be surprising. It all depends on which attack it does. If it does the clone attack and it can land a bunch of hits, it's gonna regen itself. Like this. Each time a clone hit, it's gaining 2 HP. And since the Titan doesn't do AoE damage, yep, yeah, the Titan hits a lot. It's giving a big advantage to the Mutant Enderman. But the Titan does 10 damage per hit, which is not a lot, but is enough to probably kill the Mutant Enderman. Yep, yeah, the regen just kicked in. is healing too. It is pretty close, but it's pretty much over. There's no way these little explosions will kill 47 HP. Moving on to the most unpredictable mutant that will lose 100% because it's projectile base. <laughs> okay, never mind. Sometimes the mutant skeleton can be surprising. It can lose to like something very weak or win against something very strong. It all depends about how the mob can escape its attack and how the mutant skeleton can keep its distance and right now it cannot win it did some damage because it has some melee attack but unfortunately most of the dps from the mutant skeleton is ranged so goodbye we still have a few seconds left there we go and finally, of the big mutants, we have the Mutant Creeper. It got a retexture, right? It's a bit more saturated. I'm not sure I like it. And it's getting destroyed. Holy crap. It's gonna get denied its healing. There we go. And even the explosion is not enough to kill the Titan. I think this Titan is kind of stronger than before. We're gonna go with teams now. Three mutants, no golem against one Titan. It's gonna dodge it. Yep, it's gonna dodge. It's gonna dodge it. Yep. No damage can be done here. We're gonna skip that one. And finally, we have ten spider pigs against the Titan. There we go. These guys are pretty weak. So yeah, there's no way. It's gonna be fun to watch though. I could just... enable the mob griefing just to have more spider shenanigans. There we go, it's, <laughs> it's stuck in the cobweb. It might, wait, it might give a chance to the spiders. Hold on. Uh, although with the regen... Not sure about that. Well, wait, hold on. It is awfully close. 
They did it! 10 is enough! Even maybe 9. Alright, thanks for watching and thanks for member suggestion. Bye bye!